how the recovery process is going. Yeah, everybody's different. Everybody's different quarterback. Talk, we're talking about Ike. Yeah, Ike's had a good solid summer. Yeah, Jay has. Yeah, well, he's practicing right now. For, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Just work ethic wise, what stood out about him as far as that process when, when he's been able to get after it and, and, and kind of get, get, get into the conditioning program? Um, Ike has the, you know, has the qualities of, of um, uh, any successful guy that we've had in the past. Smart, tough, physical kid that goes to work every day. And uh, very well respected by his teammates, which like, says a lot. You know, uh, we, know, we we value strength conditioning here. We had it from the get-go when we got here in 99. And anybody that is respected the way Ike is in the program, obviously, is doing a good job in that area. He wouldn't be he wouldn't carry that respect to his teammates. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Thanks Nick. Nick. Yeah, appreciate it. Tom, how are you? Hey, good coach. Um, how's the, the summer gone for you guys? And everybody bought in? We've, we've had an excellent summer. It's been a lot of fun. Um, great group of guys. And, and, uh, we've had, this is kind of our second summer in the complex. And second, we have a new practice field, so there's been some things facility-wise been very beneficial. It's also our second summer, you know, working with um, an improved nutrition plan, you know, <laughs> built off the August 1st of 2014 with the NCAA deregulated food. So, you know, I think our, our university has really supported that, and we've, that's become an advantage for us as well. Has, have we on the outside maybe undervalued the impact that this whole thing had on just overall nutrition and yeah. the health of some of these kids? Tom, it depends on where you're at, you know. So, you know, there's schools that, that collect talent and there's schools that build it. And for the schools that collect talent, maybe it's not as important. And I'm talking about that upper. Those teams that are in the top ten perennially, they go out and they collect talent from the best five-star recruits in the country, where that's not us. I mean, you look at, um, you know, last year we went to the Big Ten title game with two walk-on offensive tackles that had gained a combined 150 pounds between the two of them. Um, our linebacker core right now is a guy who played high school receiver in Neiman, uh, two high school tailbacks in men's and Josie Jewell. So at Iowa, we're trying to build people, bring in athletic kids and maybe find the position that best fits them. Food's critical to us. We have that's a, just a big component.